It's time for the Rampage Total Destruction Review for the Wii. I remember playing Rampage World Tour on the N64 with my friends when I was younger, and we had a blast with it. Is this game just as fun? Let's find out. The story is about how a soda company, Scum Soda, has performed a controlled test run of their soda by letting 40 people try their product. It turns out, the soda has some slight negative side effects. Each of the 40 participants has turned into a huge monster, and they apparently have no interest in anything except destroying every building in sight. Either that or they're just getting revenge on Scum Soda by destroying all buildings, which doesn't make too much sense. But anyway... On the selection screen, you get to choose between Campaign Mode, King of the City, King of the World, and Time Attack. The point of every game mode is to destroy a section of buildings within a time limit as quickly as you can. At the beginning of each mode, you get to select which monster you want to be from a limited list, and you'll be able to unlock other characters in time. Each character has different attributes to them which I really like since it gives the game a lot more depth and strategy. In campaign mode, you can play by yourself or have a friend help you destroy the buildings. Different items can be found inside the buildings that can have a positive or negative effect on your monster. The quicker you destroy a building, the more points you receive. In campaign mode, you can complete certain challenges other than destroying everything which will give you special attacks. These attacks will be saved to that specific monster, so you can use them in other game modes. Campaign mode is okay, but the bulk of the fun comes from the 4-player co-op modes. In King of the City, you and your friends will demolish buildings on a block within a city. Whoever earns the most points when all the buildings are destroyed in a block wins. To be the overall winner, you have to be the champion of a certain amount of blocks within the city first. The number of times you need to be the champion of blocks to be the king of the city seems to depend on how many people play. I say this because here, there are only three of us playing, and after each round, it shows that a player needs to be the champion three times to be the overall winner. However, earlier, there were four of us playing, and the quota was down to only two times instead of three. This can help change things up a bit, due to the fact that it's more difficult to be the winner of a block with more friends playing. However, I wish we had the option of choosing how many times a person needed to win to become the king of the city. King of the world is basically the same thing, although the equation is now extended. For the scenario on the screen, a player has to win three blocks within the city to receive one point, and after someone wins that point, you go to a different city and rinse and repeat until someone earns three points to be claimed king of the world. I thought King of the World would have been the most fun game mode, but I think King of the City is, because in that mode, the game ends quicker. Why is this a good thing? Because the overall gameplay isn't really that fun. The controls, for the most part, are okay, although the motion sensors really need to be worked on. You'll use the Wiimote Nunchuck combo, pressing A to punch, B to jump, and swinging the Wiimote down and side to side are supposed to slam the ground and swipe at something respectively, but trying to get the game to register a slam rather than a swipe is tiring. I'd say about 80% of the time when I wanted to slam something, the game thought I wanted a swipe, which became aggravating very quickly. So that's one annoyance, but there are also others which at first may seem small, but they add up quickly and just decrease the overall fun of the game, one of which is it can be difficult in determining if you've completely destroyed a section of a building or not. I would usually have to count how many punches I've dealt to each section. I wish I didn't have to do this as often as I had. I think my biggest complaint is that the gameplay seems slow, and because it does, it decreases the fun and can get boring. Fortunately, this doesn't happen all the time. It is fun to destroy the buildings, but you can also grab people from the buildings or streets and eat them, and destroy other things such as light posts, vehicles on the road, and helicopters. Apart from the challenge of trying to get the highest score, people, tanks, and helicopters will shoot you down. I don't have a problem with that, but it can get difficult in trying to tell where you're being shot from. This can ultimately lead to annoying deaths. Speaking of which, you don't actually die from too many attacks. Once your life bar is depleted, you'll revert back to a human on the ground. You can simply press A to return as a monster and start dealing damage again. As you attack, a gauge right underneath your health bar will start to fill up. Once it's full, your monster will go into Rampage mode, which allows you to destroy buildings faster. You'll also be able to use all the special attack moves regardless if your specific character achieved the attacks in Campaign mode, which I thought was pretty cool. The graphics look pretty good, although I'm not sure if the developers are trying to go for a cartoony look, or a realistic look, or a hybrid of the two. I think one thing that makes the game unfortunately not as fun or exciting as it could be is the music. It's too soft with all the sound effects of the game going on, and it seems too generic and pretty forgettable. The 3D aspect works to an extent. 
While it gives you more options in what you can do, it can be a challenge in determining the depth of where you are or other objects are in each stage. The original Rampage and the N64 version are packed onto the disc as well. I thought this was very cool. I didn't have that much fun with the original, however the N64 version is really fun. Actually, I think this one is the best of the three. Rampage Total Destruction is an okay game. Pretty good graphics, good controls, a wide selection of monsters to choose from, each with their own unique stats, lots of unlockable special attacks, the addition of the two past Rampage games is a great feature, and is a fun co-op game. However, the overall gameplay seems slow, which can make the game boring. It's disappointingly not as exciting as I thought it would be. The motion controls need big adjustments. I wish it was clearer when a section of the building was completely destroyed. And personally, I don't have an urge to come back to it often, except maybe to play the N64 version. Overall though, it's not a bad game, it just needs a lot of polishing. Most of the complaints aren't major issues, it's just there are a lot of minor things that need to be worked out for it to be great. It'd be cool to see an HD online version of Rampage on Wii U, but if we don't get that, this isn't a terrible alternative. This game gets a 2.75 out of 5, with the title of Good.